The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. This passage in Psalm 23 does not paint a picture of a very hurried or rushed walk with the Lord, quite the opposite. It, it illustrates that a walk with Jesus is very slow and intentional and aware and restful. So all this past week we have been talking about rhythm and rest and there's been some really great wisdom shared by some incredible pastors at our church and if you haven't seen those devos, we're going to put the links in the description below and I highly suggest that you go do uh, because uh, rhythm and rest are important and I'm speaking as someone who has both done them really well in the past and really, really poorly. So to kind of set the stage for you, in 2020, I'd been married for a little over two years to my beautiful bride, and we had a little girl who was almost six months old at the time, and when the pandemic happened, my work role changed a lot, and it got a whole lot more fast-paced and honestly fun and exciting for a while. Um, I like the challenge, so I was there for it, and over the course of a few months, though, I found myself... Um, slipping more and more into giving all of my time and energy to work. My, my walk with the Lord suffered because I, I didn't have time, honestly, is, is where I was at. I was so focused on my task. And um, my marriage suffered. My wife and I weren't connecting like we were used to. I wasn't being intentional with time with my daughter. I can remember walking in the door and she would start crying. I'd be like, has she just been crying all day? And it's like, no, it's because I came home with a really bad energy and upset her. Uh, that happened more times than I care to admit. But um, my wife lovingly nudged me um, along, and I didn't understand. Like I couldn't, I couldn't see where I was messing up. I couldn't see what was out of whack, and I was just living under more and more stress as I piled more and more stuff on top of myself. And uh, uh, late July, 2020. I remember sitting on the couch, stewing and being really stressed about a uh, work situation, and the uh, corner of my lip started to twitch. Fast forward a couple hours, and the entire right side of my face was not working at all, as you can kind of see here. So I end up at the ER, uh, waiting for a doctor to come tell me what was going on, and I'm sitting there uh, in the midst of a full-blown panic attack, thinking I'm having a stroke or not knowing what's going on. And um, the doctor comes in, he tells me I have Bell's palsy, which is just paralysis of one side of my face that could be temporary, could be permanent. I needed to go home, I needed to rest, I needed to eliminate stress from my life and hope that I got movement back in my face. That was a hard couple of weeks, feeling really, really helpless because the work that I had been doing, I couldn't do. The pace that I had been keeping, I couldn't keep. Uh, the stress that I had been carrying, I couldn't carry. And it was, a, it was a very humbling experience for me, to be perfectly honest. And God started doing a lot of work in me in that time, resetting my priorities. You know, I had put work first, and family and God and everything else were just somewhere down the road. Work was really the only priority. And um, he brought me back into alignment to where my relationship with him it comes first, and then my relationship with my family and taking care of them and then friends and then community and all this stuff and work somewhere in the midst of all that. Uh, but it wasn't an immediate thing. You know, after two or three months, the movement in my face started to come back. But it was a better part of a year before I realized what that situation saved me from, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, I've seen marriages fall apart. I've seen people's health deteriorate to the point where they can't recover like I did all because these priorities were out of whack and they were chasing things that you know they shouldn't have been chasing. And so I'm really thankful now, looking back at what God spared me from with this wake up call. I mean, it was a crash. I burned out hard, um, but it was a lesson that I needed to learn and it was a lesson that I'm thankful he taught me in that moment. If any of my story is, is resonating with you, I pray that you wouldn't wait for your own crash uh, to get things back in line, but that you would take a step back now, take that advice that that doctor gave me, and go home, rest, eliminate stress, and hope. Because we do have a lot of hope. 
So back to this verse in Psalm 23. You know, make this your anthem if you're feeling anxious in heart and you're feeling like things aren't in line. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. God bless.